the stock on our radar. The company will be setting up a new chlorinated polyvinyl chloride or the CPVC uh, compound plant with a 35,000 per ton year capacity. This unit will be set up with an additional capex of 25 crore rupees and is expected to be commissioned by the end of the uh, end of this year. That is in quarter four this year itself. Uh, well, Rima, you know, before I introduce the guest as well, mm. it's important to understand it's CPVC compound. Okay. The company yeah. already has a capacity in CPVC resin. Resin is used to make the CPVC compound okay. and CPVC compound is then used in products like CPVC pipes. Pipe. The companies like Astral and uh, Phenolex Industries, they make CPVC pipes. So uh, they are basically getting into the entire chain from resin. They are now getting into compound. So now the company will be selling resins. Plus, Plus they will compounds. be selling CPVC compounds and, and part of the resin production will be, will be used compounds. to making compounds. Exactly. Okay. So they are basically getting into forward integration with this new expansion that the company has done. So just thought to explain that as well. Uh, Malik Patel, the CMD at Make Money Fine Chem is joining us now to discuss uh, this new update that has come by and a lot more. Malik, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Always a pleasure speaking with you. Uh, just for understanding purposes, I wanted to um, know how much CPVC resin is used to make, say, one ton of CPVC compound. To understand how much of your own CPVC resin capacity will go into CPVC compound manufacturing. Yeah. So uh, currently, we are manufacturing already CPVC resin, which is thirty thousand per annum, and we are expanding to forty-five thousand tons per annum. And recently, we have announced CPVC compound. So. One ton of CPVC resin, which consumes one ton of compound, is around 0.8 of resin will consume in the compound manufacturing. Okay. So, in the immediate term, your capacity will be 40,000 tons per annum, right? It's only in Q4 of FI24 that it goes up to 75,000 ton per annum of resin, correct? Yes. So, total capacity will be after our expansion of CPVC resin, uh, our total capacity will be 75,000 tons per annum and out of that 35,000 tons per annum, we are going to make CPVC compounding. So, which will consume around 28 to 30,000 tons of resin we are going to consume in-house mm -hmm. to make the compounding. So, idea behind the compound power integration is there are certain customers in India who are only buying compound and they're focusing only on the pipe manufacturing rather than they're backward integrating themselves, yeah. buying resin, manufacturing, compounding themselves. So this will uh, add our customer base who are only buying a compound in India. Mm. So out of the 75,000 capacity of resin, 28 to 20, 30,000 will of the resin capacity will be used for making compounds and the balance 40 to 42,000 will be sold independently, right? Separately. That's right, yeah. Okay. Okay, all right. So, uh, how uh, are you already in talks with CPVC compound customers? Who would your uh, customers be? Which are the industries that you'll cater to? Since you've taken this decision for forward integration, you must have seen enough demand as well because CPVC usually is imported. How big of a demand do you see it in uh, the country? So, currently in the last financial year, India's capacity is around 250,000 tons per annum in India CPVC resin and compound both put together. Out of 80,000 tons, compound is sell in India as a compound menu, as a compound buyer. So we wanted to cater those com uh, compound customers who are buying uh, recently the CPVC compound. So total market is 250,000 tons and it is increasing around 15 percent <coughs> per annum because most of the plumbing application is converting entirely from the UPVC to the CPVC application right now mm -hmm. in India. Malik, what will be the net revenue accretion? Because you will lose some revenues because part of your resin, you know, production will be used in-house, right? So maybe you used, you know, and then you will be selling those compounds. So what will be the net benefit to you? Yeah, so if you just give you example, right now we are selling CPVC resin is around around 150 rupees to 160 rupees in the in Indian market right now. So it will add 60 rupees or 70 rupees kind of compounding. So net CPVC compounding it cost is around 220 rupees per ton. Okay, all right. So how is the pricing right now? You said around 60 to 70 rupees per ton is the spread. If I if I understood it correctly, that you would get in forward integration. Yes, that's right. That that is a uh, value addition as well as it consumes only 0.8 of CPVC resin. So mm. 160 mm. 0.8 is only a resin cost. So the net revenue, if you you know use uh, the value addition of sixty rupees per ton, uh, is about twenty one crores on an annual basis, assuming full uh, capacity mm. utilization. Uh, no, it is more than that. Uh, along with that, because we have to add other additives also mm. in the formula. 
Okay. So that is additional cost also it will incur. Okay. So, uh, how is the pricing right now um, for CPVC? Because again, it's a commoditized play. It, it depends on crude prices as well. We've seen that going higher, but during COVID, we saw it uh, plummeting to lower levels. How are you getting into a commoditized uh, forward integration? What's your plan going forward? Um, and what is the supply demand dynamics right now in the cycle that we are in? So well, right now, if you see, you know, we are uh, almost uh, seventy percent was uh, our bulk caustic soda manufacturing, and value added chemistry was thirty percent. So gradually, as we are moving into the value added chemistry, we are adding. I think quarter on quarter, our volume is increasing on the value added chemistry and chemicals like CPVC resin, epichlorohydrin, and we are moving in that change. So in next two years, you know, our plan was forty percent only in the bulk chemical, which is C uh, caustic soda. And the all remaining 60% revenue will come only from the value added chemi chemicals. Malik, uh, you have a long term guidance of achieving 5,000 crore of revenue by FI27. Uh, right. As you move towards that goal, will there be any other strategic, you know, big directional changes that you're looking to make in the company in terms of forward addition, backward addition, expansion, over and above what <laughs> we've spoken about? So as a company, we are already investing around 350 to 400 CR in a year and we are going to continuously doing that and majorly focus will be the import substitute molecule and as like CPVC expansion and the chlorotoluene we've already announced which will commission in quarter of four in India, which will cater, which is a completely import substitute molecules, which is uh, catering to the specialty chemical company in India, like uh, pharmaceutical ingredients and the agrochemical ingredients, you know, which is a and, I, and we are going to add more chemistry, which is import substitute in coming times once we commission this CPVC resin plant and as well as uh, the chlorotoluene plant in quarter four. Okay. And once all of this comes on stream, since you have a lot of plants which will be coming on stream in quarter four, um, there is something like uh, there's CPVC resin, of course, there's chlorotoluene and its value chain. Um, what will the margin profile look like as that 40, 60 skews in favor of uh, specialty products? Yeah, so along with the uh, you know, margin is one angle, but other than that, we are end segments, we are diversifying our total. Right now, you know, we use uh, three years before, we are only catering to only four or five different segments and users. Now, after adding the value added chemistry like hydrogen peroxide, chloromethane, epichloroatine, CPVC, resin, now we are catering to almost uh, 12 to 14 different end users. So that's why we are deleveraging our focus on one particular segment. Yeah. And I think going forward, we are focusing more, targeting to more end users. Okay, all right. Uh, we would have uh, liked to chat more and understand your future business plans because you've been talking about moving from commoditized play to specialized play as well. So how would that impact the company? But that for a later date. Thank you, Malik, for joining us today and explaining to us what this new expansion would look like and what are the business dynamics here as well. Let's do one thing, slip into a short break. Up next, 